Virgo. Welcome to your reading. I hope that this message finds you while you're in good health and good wealth. I hope that you're doing something that you love today, tonight, this afternoon, whenever this message finds you, simply because you deserve to. Let's get into your reading. The Magician on the Split. In the center of your reading, we have the Wheel of Fortune. I'd love to see it. Two more. Oh, there's two. Nope, that's three. <laughs> Overall energy for my Virgos. The Emperor. Ooh. <laughs> Seven of Wands. You, Virgo. You got boundaries all around you right now. <laughs> you're not playing about yourself. You're not playing about your life, your emotions. You're not playing in regards to how it is. You are just the foundation that you're trying to set, the example you're trying to set, the thing that you're building, the version of yourself that you're building. You're not playing with yourself you're not letting anybody walk all over you take advantage of you you are protecting yourself you are protected and connected to source what does this card say the emperor like unto god political authority gives safe travel and protects against conspiracy yeah anybody conspiring against you trying to plot your on your downfall just trying to cause chaos or havoc in your life in any way shape or form they can't <laughs> they can't even get through this says liberation deliverance from enemies both visible and invisible it don't matter if you can see them or not they can't touch you six of cups i feel like it's an x ace of cups reverse yeah there's some type of emotional connection. It doesn't have to be an ex. It doesn't have to be romantic. But there's some type of emotional connection that could be kind of testing you or trying to like, I don't know, get back into your life in some way, shape, or form. And I feel like they know that they're just interrupting your peace, right? I feel like they know that you're better off without them. They know that you know you're better off without them. But they're still trying to tap in with you <laughs> i'll say and i feel like with the emperor and the seven of wands is like they it's like if you're going through the airport and you're going through security and then it's like you're not letting no bombs get through right is they're a bomb pretty much no matter how they try to hide it facade it it's like they can't get to you they can't interrupt your peace they can try all they want but only you can let them through that's the energy I'm picking up. But with this Wheel of Fortune here, it's like, I feel like even if you wanted to let them through, you couldn't because Spirit is trying to guide you in your correct path and down the, your correct path. Like, I feel like you're just very, very protected intentionally by Spirit. Your angel, your guides, 
or mm, they got your back whether you want them to or not. <laughs> like what I'm thinking, what I'm feeling. It's like things could just really feel like they're falling into place for you, but it's only because you yourself being the emperor, your, your actions are a reflection of your reality. So if you, things are going really well for you, it's because spirit sees you're on the vibrational frequency to be receptive of good things. Like, or not good, I don't wanna say the word good, but you're being receptive to your divine purpose and path. So it's like, things are just feeling very in order for you, but only you, like you can fuck that up if you want to, you know, if you start letting karmics back in and spin the block per se, it's like, you can also fuck, fuck up your blessings. But right now you're in the time period of receiving blessings because you're standing in a very divine feminine, div uh, I will say divine feminine, even though the emperor is here. I will say divine feminine because I see you being very receptive to the blessings in your life in that aspect. I do also see you in this divine masculine energy of setting strong boundaries and not really letting nothing uh, stressful <laughs> of the past enter your life or things that are bad for you, that you know are bad for you. I don't see you allowing yourself whether you try to or not, <laughs> I don't see God, spirit, allowing you to kind of fuck these blessings up for yourself. You're just in a good time period right now of having good experiences, meeting good friends, healthy friends, healthy, healthy mindsets. I feel like you're just sitting in your peace. First card we have out is the eight of wands. This is moving in a new direction. This is healthy communication, positive communication. You could be getting a lot of spiritual downloads. From your own guides what does this say grandeur makes one passionate toward god yeah i feel like you're just trusting source i feel like the whatever way your life is heading some music could be of great influence to some virgos out there but i feel like whatever way that your life is heading however the river is flowing you're just let and go and going with it you know i feel like you've kind of understood or you understand in this present moment at the very least that Things work out when you let go. <laughs> Next card out. The Hermit in Reverse. Damn. That was in your last reading. Alchemy and Transformation rules natural events. Helps with spiritual progress. I feel like you are kind of being offered or you might find yourself in situations where it's like you kind of have to come out of your shell. Right? The Emperor is somebody that has to deal with people. You know, whether you want to or not, it's you have to at least have the skills to be capable of dealing with people or handling your own situations. And I feel like in regards to standing up for yourself or however it may look in your life, you know, dealing with people, it'll look different for all Virgos out there. I feel like you're just being put in a position where you're actually having to use what, what has enlightened you, your solitude in the past, you know. You're actually having to kind of put those skills to use, you know, if that makes sense. In the center of your reading with the Wheel of Fortune, straight up blessings, like things, this is karma. This is, with it being in the upright, this is you receiving the positive karma for the life that you've lived, the things that you've done recently or in the past, don't matter. But you're getting positive karma, the recording angel. Advancement and progress teaches, guides, and records events in the book of life. Yeah, fuck yeah. And that's like right over the emperor. I feel like you, some Virgos out there, you could be being elevated into some type of position of power. You could be getting a raise or a promotion. Um, or people are just starting to actually finally see you and respect you for the person that you are, you know? It's like, and that's maybe why you have to be protective of the things that you have, the blessings that are starting to find you, you know, with this positive karma, it's like you're now receiving your spiritual inheritance, you know? And so it's like, you're not trying to, I feel like you're in recognition of that and you're not trying to fuck it up. We also have strength in reverse. So I feel like things are definitely testing you. Like I said, this person could be coming back around and they could be trying to, 
I mean, test you. I would not be surprised if that was clarified by the devil. Let's, let's, I just said that. I would not be surprised because this is something that you're having to have strength with and for. This is like, this is not been, this has been, it seems like it's been something that's kind of new to you or a new cycle or process. And I feel like you're just adjusting. Last card out, the star. Blessings. <laughs> God the just. Clemency and equ equilibrium. Protection against attacks in the court. Spiritual court. Hmm. Again with this protection, seven of wands, protection. Hmm. With strength in reverse. I feel like it was difficult for you to kind of accept this new reality. You could be single. You could be on some type of pedestal or you could be viewed by others or another as being on a pedestal. Like they could see even if you're not on a pedestal, even like in real life, in their eyes, they might see you like that. I just feel like right now there's a lot of spiritual blessings or enlightenment that is in your life or you're coming into realization of. And you are having a difficult time adjusting because I feel like for so long you were thinking that you were going to have to deal with people, places, and things, situations that you were trying to move on from, but couldn't. It's like now you finally have moved on. You finally stepped into your power, your truth. And now you've done it in a way where nobody will question you or nobody is like doubting the fact that you have done it. All right, clarify the emperor. Ace of Cups in reverse, ooh. I feel like the only person that's doubting you is you, <laughs> like that you are this version of yourself. You have to embrace that truth because there is, this is a new beginning, a new emotional beginning, but it, but it is what you make of it. You know, you're not going to get reap all of the benefits and the rewards of it. If you keep thinking that you are this past version of yourself, right? Hermit in reverse. If you keep thinking that you are not who you are, if you won't embrace that truth or you don't because of past people's projections and fears and who they told you you were, you won't be able to embrace those, these blessings, these spiritual Ace of Cups, the spiritual blessings that are in your life now, the spiritual power. I feel like the High Priestess might come out too. Oh, the Hierophant, even fucking realer. The Hierophant in the world, like you have evolved. This is, a, this is upgrading in spiritual rank. This is going through a lot of bullshit. And because of that, you are being elevated in the 5D, in the spiritual realm, right? Your ethereal body has uh, hardened its shell, I would say. Because of the past disappointment and heartbreak and pain that you have gone through. Ace of Cups reversed in the Emperor. The past disappointing emotional experiences that you've had has made you become a version of yourself if not in the 3D, absolutely in the 5D, a version of yourself that is an emperor, empress, like you are, you are solidified in your spiritual rank. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Clarify the id ones. Ace of Swords in reverse. The thing that you're moving away from is lies, psychological abuse, anything of inauthenticity, you are heading in the other direction, right? Look at this angel with this eight of wands on my left, probably your right. They're going this way. These lies are just staying right where they're at because anything inauthentic will never be seen or move forward. You're not inauthentic. You're moving forward. If forward is this way. 
I don't know. I feel like it had you fucked up for a long time too with the hermit in reverse. Clarify the hermit in reverse. Could be done with the air sign. There's way too many cards. Oh, Archangel Metatron could be of significance. That's in the center of your reading. That's the only one that is gold. And it's in the upright, and it's the Wheel of Fortune. What do I say moving forward? Advancements and progress teaches, guides, and records events in the Book of Life. Mm. You're on your path, I feel like, Virgo. Clarifying the Hermit in the Reverse, the Magician. Yeah. You're literally, okay, so you're moving on from the lies, the bullshit people, places and things that were inauthentic, that had you fucked up and now regaining your strength, your power, literally, basically just open your, opening your eyes to the truth that you were never actually stripped of your power. You just gave it away for a little bit because you wanted to love, you wanted to be seen and understood and felt. I feel like you're coming to this realization that it don't really matter what the fuck anybody thinks about you. No matter what you feel for anybody, you are yourself through and through forever. This is what I mean solidified in your spiritual rank. Like you're, you're coming to terms with the fact that you, you can never run from who you are. Nobody can make you be anything. If you let them, then you let them and that's that. But nobody can make you be or do anything. No matter how bad they break you down emotionally, spiritually, psychologically. The essence of God is within you forever. <laughs> like you are that. That is a fact. Of source, right? For some. For gods. Like, like whatever you believe in, you, that will never leave you. It is inside of your, your being a very, very big part of your soul. So no matter what they do to break your 3D body down or break your mind or whatever, it's like they can never, they can never defeat the truth. And the truth is you. But if you let them, then you let them and that's that. I feel like for a while they had you fucked up and you let them for a little bit. But it's like now you're in this period of time where you're just regaining all of that you're remembering i'll say you know because i feel like you always knew but i feel like because i'm a victim of this as well victim we don't do victim mindset over here but it's like you can you can fall in love or you can love a job so much you can you can you can allow very easily for something to kind of get the best of you because you want to see good in it or feel good in it or you have hope for it or them you know it's you can get your you can get out of character you can be i don't know love makes you dumb right <laughs> so the things that we love it's it's i definitely understand how you could momentarily forget about who the fuck you are but you're in this period of remembering. Keep in mind these are general readings, so you could be anywhere throughout this cycle. This is just overall energies. And the center of your reading are the Wheel of Fortune. Like I said, advancement, progressing. It's like you just, everything's falling into place. Everything you went through, you had to go through. You know that. It's like now you're just growing. Goddamn, shit was doing kickflips. <laughs> Queen of Wands in reverse. Mm. Virgo, I'll be honest with you. I don't say this a lot, but it's okay to be selfish right now. Right now. It's like you get a pardon from God, spirit, whatever, your angels, your guides, like you get a you can be selfish right now. You deserve that. What you went through in the past, that bullshit, these fake people, fake places and things, these things that you had hoped for that let you down. It's like now it's your turn. Not to be mean or evil or anything of the sorts. Not to stoop to their level, no. It's okay for you to just focus on you and take care of you and put yourself first and regain that strength in a way that exudes strength, power, 
That solidification will only be solidified and given and granted to you in the spiritual realm. That spiritual rank will only be increased if you take it. You gotta say, I want it, I love myself, and then do things, take actions that empower you, that make you feel good, that make you happy. It's okay to do that right now. You gotta be selfish right now so that you can, cause you're in that process of remembrance, you know? So it's like, you gotta remember. Remember who the fuck you are. They were some fuckheads for doing what they did to you. It happened though. You gotta embrace that, accept that. Keep it pushing, but keep it pushing in a way that does not even, that keep it pushing in a way that makes them regret doing what they did, right? Just become a version of yourself that is so elevated and evolved and put together that it, to them or it, just feels stupid for doing what they did. Just grow, keep progressing and never get off of that path. But right now, specifically on that path, it's a time to be selfish. It's a, it's a time to overly focus on yourself and just evolve. Like heal, grow. Like, like if you like listening to music, listen to music. If you like going for walks, go for a walk. If you like creating necklaces, make a fucking shit ton of necklaces. You know, like just do things that make you feel good because it's gonna help you reconnect and come back to your center. And if you are, if you're authentically being yourself, like these people were not, the blessings with the Wheel of Fortune in the center you're reading, the blessings will, they will be unmatched. Clarify strength in reverse. Eight of Cups. Ooh. Okay. In my head, it's like math sometimes with these cards. It's weird. But I feel like you are leaving this version of yourself, this weak part of yourself that used to let this person spin the block. Like, uh, I just feel like you're leaving that behind, right? Like, this part of yourself that you have... Whatever it is that makes you weak, that makes you feel as though you can't control it, you can't control that part of yourself, um, the thing that's holding you back, your fears, your cur like lack of courage, I feel like you're leaving that in the past. You're walking away from it because you know it's hindering your growth. So let's say you're in a karmic relationship, you're in a cycle, right, where it's like, get together, break up, get together, break up, block, unblock, block, unblock, whatever. It's like that weakness where you get back with them, knowing that you shouldn't be with them, that weakness where you unblock them, knowing that you, they should stay blocked, that weakness inside of you, you're addressing it, sitting with it, and leaving it behind. My readings be dope. <laughs> what the fuck? That's what I see, though. This says transformation gives consolation in adversity i'm telling you that weakness bottom of the deck ten of panties inner and outer work helps one keep their job protects against disasters because when you unblock them it becomes disastrous because you're stuck in that cycle still when you get back together with them it becomes disastrous because you're stuck in that cycle still clarify the star but it's all just you letting yourself do that and be that. Clarifying the star, seven of pentes in reverse. Discernment, general prosperity, the deliverance of prisoners. I feel like you're no longer waiting for your dream. Knight of cups in reverse, ooh, definitely no. <laughs> I feel like you're no longer waiting for your dreams to come to you after dissolving that weakness inside of you. Right, and it'll be a process. Be gentle with yourself throughout it. Nobody's expecting anything out of you. You set the terms for your life. You set the pace, all that. Grow when you feel comfortable growing, but just don't procrastinate growth when you see it's available to you, you know? Take even the babiest of baby steps if you need to. 
but don't just sit in the same cycle every day knowing that it's not good for you knowing that it is testing you and it's just putting yourself in that position you know it's like if you want your wishes to be fulfilled if you want to be a better version of yourself if you want to remove yourself from whatever you perceive to be toxic or of toxicity in your life you can't just sit around and wait for shit to happen nobody's doing anything for you nobody's gonna do it for you you gotta do it you gotta get get out get off your ass do the work sit with yourself right so maybe sit on your butt but <laughs> meditate i don't know but definitely if you want some shit done you're gonna have to do it internally right if you want to see external progress as a whole another conversation but you definitely gonna have to contribute <laughs> But people can help you with that. But nobody can help you with you in your mind. Nobody can. Nobody's coming to save you from that. It's up to you to take care of that, face that. And if people, places, and things, external factors are contributing chaos to this, you, you're the only one that can help you. You can get all the advice in the world, but, you know. Virgo, this was your message.